Hello everybody, welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2. So, last time we completed uh, at least our first visit to Hollow Bastion, got to meet some of uh, familiar old faces, and now it's time to select which world we're going to first. Much like in Kingdom Hearts 1, we can go to a couple different worlds in a different order. If we go up to this world, that's the Mulan world, and if we go down, that's the Beauty and the Beast world. Now, we can do these in any order, and there are advantages and disadvantages to doing each one first. If we do the Mulan one first, the Mulan world has a lower battle level, which means the enemies will be more manageable to defeat. It's the one you're supposed to go to first, so the difficulty is more balanced, and we will get a new Keyblade at the end of the world, which, even if that Keyblade's not very good, we can at least swap to the Star Seeker Keyblade that we got for Valor Form once we complete this world. Whereas if we go to the Beauty and the Beast world, well, the enemies are going to be a good deal tougher because they intend for you to go to this world after the Milan world. And it's especially there are going to be a couple of boss fights that will be actually very tough if we do this first, and we don't get a Keyblade at the end. But this will help us with, uh, get some levels early on because the enemies will give us more experience than what we're supposed to be getting. And we get the Cure spell at the end of the world. So that's interesting. Now, I'm personally going to go to the Milan world because honestly, Cure is not nearly as good as it was in Kingdom Hearts 1. It was like the best spell in Kingdom Hearts 1. In Kingdom Hearts 2 it's useful, but it got nerfed pretty severely. Anyhow, before we can go there we need to complete these gummy missions. So first up is Asteroid Sweep. Let's proceed for Asteroid Sweep. Alright, so full disclosure, you remember how much fun I had with the gummy editor in Kingdom Hearts 1. I've never actually used the Gummy Editor in Kingdom Hearts 2, and the reason is, in Kingdom Hearts 1, if you don't use the Gummy Editor, you're stuck basically with the same default ship for the whole game, and the default ship sucks. In Kingdom Hearts 2, however, you start with the default ship, which is actually a good deal better than it was in Kingdom Hearts 1, but also as you complete Gummy levels, you will unlock new blueprints for higher level versions of the standard ship, and... Honestly, once you clear a gummy level, you never have to do it again. You can literally just go straight to the world without ever touching the gummy mission. So I just use the default blueprints that they give us. Maybe I'll check out the gummy editor later on in the Let's Play, but honestly, the default blueprints it gives you are perfectly fine. So the only one we have right now is the High Wind, which is the typical one. The blueprint indicates this ship is balanced offensively and defensively. We're going to choose that one. You could easily make it for all the gummy levels without ever having to make a custom ship. Are we ready? Yes, we're gonna start. They're actually quite a bit different than they were in Kingdom Hearts 1. In Kingdom Hearts 1, they were super simple, had really bad graphics, and ultimately weren't that fun unless you had an absurdly powerful ship. In this, they feel much more like Star Fox. Basic controls. Use the left stick to turn the gummy ship and press X to fire. So you're going to see how different this is. So, yeah. It controls much more smoothly than it did in Kingdom Hearts 1. And it looks much better, and the enemies, they're a lot easier to deal with. Also, you can now charge your laser by holding X and lock onto multiple ships. This is the preferred method of doing things. The charge shots are powerful, can one-shot most enemies, and they just clear out crowds very well, and it barely takes any time to charge. The orange spheres that enemies are dropping are points, so that'll increase our overall score for the level, and then the green bits that we picked up were health. You can see I've got the gummy ship health meter over in the lower right corner. Uh, when you see the yellow cursors move over the enemies, that means I'm, I've locked onto them. That large uh, thing that we just picked up was a gummy piece, the Thunder G, which I believe is a cannon. So that's like a new gun we can have if we want. I'd say, all in all, the gummy ship missions in this are way better. Ooh, we just got a new engine. So the gummy ship missions are way better in this than they were in Kingdom Hearts 1, but I actually enjoy the Kingdom Hearts 1 gummy ship missions more, mainly because the gummy ship missions are really fast and really fun once you've got, like, an absurdly powerful gummy ship. Ooh, we got a special one, a neon bar set. 
So yeah, every, anytime we visit, pretty much every time we visit a new world, we're gonna have to complete a gummy ship mission. And there are honestly not a whole lot of gummy ship missions in the game. After you clear the first one, you unlock more, more gummy ship missions, but I don't think those give you anything except more gummy ship stuff. So yeah, not really worth completing that. I have never completed it. I might make a bonus video after the Let's Play where it's like, hey, I'm gonna try to get all the gummy ship missions, but I feel like that would be super boring and not fun to watch. So I actually am probably going to skip over that. <laughs> of all of the extras in this game, and this game has a lot of extras, gummy shit missions are the, probably the worst. And yes, if you're playing on critical mode, your gummy ship also takes more damage than it would on normal mode. And here we go, we find the keyhole, and that's the exit. Root open. Yep, we open mission levels one and two, so we can go back and do special missions for that if we want. And we get a new blueprint, the Highland Level 1 blueprint. So this was just the normal Highland, that's Highland Level 1. So we can use that. Oh, and we get the Falcon Level 1 blueprint, so that's a more offensive-based ship. So, oh, um, thanks for installing that. <laughs> I didn't want you to install that during this, but whatever. <laughs> This is what you get when you watch colorful armies let's plays, folks. Yeah, so as you can see, we got new blueprints just for clearing the level. And we can use those blueprints and they give us a better ship. And each gummy shipment level gets progressively harder, but we get progressively better blueprints. So yeah, pretty easy. Anyhow, we have finally opened the route to the Land of Dragons. Let's land in the Land of Dragons. On land. He's evil, can you tell? He's got purple eyes with orange pupils. And a hawk. See that, Mulan? It's Shan Yu, leader of the Hun army. Come on, girl. This is your big chance. I can see it now. Fa Mulan, whoops, public enemy number one. You're gonna be famous. I'm talking A-list. Mushu, I'm not sure. I haven't even joined the army yet. I have to take my father's place to preserve the Fa family honor. I just hope I don't get discovered. Whatever, you're just scared, admit it. Aren't you? Hmm. Huh? I appreciate that they actually got Eddie Murphy back to voice Mushu. Uh huh, yes. Let's get the jump on him. Gorge! Maybe we better look before we leap. How is it Goofy's the sensible one? <laughs> is that Mushu? That's right, I know you heard of me. I'm little, lethal, and legendary. Now y'all scram before I get my dragon dander up. Hey Mushu, we missed you. Yeah, well you better hope I miss you or else you're- Yeah, I love how, cause Mushu was technically a summon in Kingdom Hearts 1, so that's how they know each other. You're- Sora! Donald! Goofy! Do you know them? Know them? Man, we used to kick all kinds of bad guy butt together. Um, Mushu, I summoned you like once. Come on. <laughs> we really didn't do a yeah, whole lot. Yeah, you know I helped these guys out of a lot of tight spots. No, you didn't. I'm a mighty dragon, right? You were useful in Chain of Memories, though, for Mega Flare. <laughs> Something like that. And you are? I'm Mulan, um, <clears throat> no, I, I, I mean, Ping! Mulan Ping! Just Ping. I am Ping, son of Fazu. You know Mushu? Mushu's one of my family's guardians. We didn't know we were borrowing somebody as important as a family guardian. Yeah, that's right. And that puts you three up to your eyeballs in debt to Ping here. Well, guess what, kiddies? It's payback time. Oh, show. Ah, they don't mind. Ain't that right? Hmm, sounds fair. See, Ping here was just on his way to join the Imperial Army. We gotta go find the other recruits over at the training camp. Would you join us? It'll be easier to fit in if I'm with guys like you. What do you mean, fit in? Well, uh, <laughs> uh, don't, don't worry about that. 
You're pretending to be a boy, aren't you? Huh? You're a girl? You didn't notice? Not me. I think it's working. I don't know. Those two would fall for anything. Yeah, Mushu, Mushu's got a point. Sora and Donald are not exactly the hardest to fool. <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> Anyhow, welcome to the Land of the Dragons. It's a brand new world! Alright, party members have been switched. Yeah, so we get new party members for different worlds, like in Kingdom Hearts 1 or in Chain Memories. Unfortunately, we can't have more than two party members in our team at once. And in this world, we are forced to take, quote-unquote, Pain along with us. And Pain is a terrible party member. I'm also going to swap Donald out for Goofy, because Donald's really not all that useful. And without Goofy, I can't enter Valor form. Alright, let's look at Sora's abilities. Oh, yes, I have Combo Boost. We better equip that. That's one of the best abilities. Oh, I'm not sure if I went over what it did last time because it's new. Combo Boost increases the damage of the finishing move on the ground relative to the number of hits in the combo. What this essentially does is it makes your combo finishers more powerful. So, and it's, it, the power of the finisher scales relative to how long your ground combos are. So right now we have a two-hit combo followed by the finishers because of finishing plus we have two finishers, so each of those finishers will deal extra damage thanks to combo boost. This is nice, this makes our combos a good deal more powerful, so we absolutely want that. We also have Pain, who has Draw, draws in and obtains nearby orbs, which, yeah, that's just Treasure Magnet, Sora has that, and Item Boost increases the effect dump with healing items on the field by 50%. Yeah, Pain, Pain doesn't really have anything going for him. And the very first thing we're gonna do is, Pain has the Sword of the Ancestor, which is his melee weapon. We can't take that away from him, but what we can do is take away all of his, no, not that. Uh, what we can do is take away all of his healing items and ethers, because we can use them way better than he can. Sorry, not sorry, Pain. Also, we got fire, and I'm going to equip fire to square rather than circle. Fire works differently in this than it did in Kingdom Hearts 1. In Kingdom Hearts 1 and in Chain of Memories, fire was basically like a semi-homing fireball that you shoot and it locks onto enemies. And in Kingdom Hearts 1, you could rapid fire fireballs if you had it set to a shortcut. In this, fire is very, very different, as we're about to see. The party command has been added. This command allows a quick exchange of party members. Use this command to switch party members during battles where menus can't be opened. So that is nice. Instead of having to go to a save point in order to switch your party members, you can already just be like, hey, Goofy, we're swapping you for Donald, and then Goofy. swapping you again. And again, that's on the separate command menu, so we've got two command menus. This is the normal one, and if we hit the left on the D-pad, it goes to this one. Don't forget about that. Anyhow, fire in this surrounds you with fireballs. While this might sound terrible, it's actually way better because this time, ah, the fire basically hits enemies rapidly that are near you, and we're gonna actually be using that quite a bit. Anyhow, there are chests in this area. Let's open them. We get a dark shard. You saw Musu's shadow on the rock. We get a mithril shard. And an ether. Nice. Let's see what the Moogle shop has. Items from previously visited shops will become available at shops in large towns. Nice. Okay, so we've got 156 moolah. Fire Bangle. We are going to buy the Fire Bangle. This is, increases your fire resistance by 20% and boosts your defense by 1. We can only buy one of those, but we're getting that. Because that will be coming in handy, I, if not in this world, then at least in a future world. And we're going to hand over all of our Synthesis items. Yeah, we can't actually make anything. Sora's going to equip that fire bangle that's going to come in handy, and I'm going to give Goofy the shadow anchor. Actually, do I have an elven bandana that I can get out of? Oh yeah, Donald has it. Okay, anyhow. Enough of an introduction, let's get going. Wow, that was a fast walk! <laughs> it was like literally right here. There's a sticker up in the sky that we can't reach. Member girl and Lee. 
That is exactly how a man walks, Mulan. About time we got some grub. Hey, no cutting. Get down. Back off. Space in line. I wonder what they're serving for lunch today. Knuckle sandwiches. That does it. Please. Please. What a girl. Oh, uh, knock it off. Knock what off? You punched me. What a shrimp! Who you calling a shrimp? Hand and lips. I'm a bona fide guardian dragon. L let's just get back in line, okay? Whose side are you on? I just got slugged. Want some more? Soldiers, get back in line. We are literally the only six soldiers in the entire camp. Seven if you count pain. <laughs> Not counting Sora, Donald, and Goofy, there are literally four soldiers if you include pain. This is a pathetic army. <laughs> gauge represents the party's morale. It is game over when the gauge is empty. This gauge can be restored by the orbs dropped by the enemy. This is the main gimmick of the Land of Dragons. Most of the battles in this uh, world will have the morale meter. Don't let it run out, because apparently if morale's down, everyone just gives up and goes home. And apparently that's a bad thing. Orbs influence the survival of the party, so make sure you gather as many orbs as possible, especially the rare ones. This is where having playing on critical mode and having the draw ability is nice. Anyhow, we're going to start by entering the battle form. <laughs> we just destroyed all the tents, and I hope we don't find it. So we just got some basic shadows, not too biggie. This is a new type of enemy, this is called a Nightwalker. They can be kind of dangerous if you leave them alone, so you probably want to take them out pretty quickly. Anyhow. And we leveled up Fowler form because we hit enough enemies while we were in it. Sweet. So now our gauge increases by one, so we can keep it staying in Valor form for a little bit longer, and we got an ability called Auto Valor. More on that later. You three, what are your names? Sora. Turn on, I did nothing! Goofy. You're welcome at my troop. Your battle skills are encouraging. Donald did nothing! I'm the son of Fazu. You should return home. But that would dishonor my family. You'd rather dishonor my troops? Dude, you have an army of six. You're going against the Han army. You need everybody. <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, I think Shan Yu is literally the only Han in in this game. So maybe it's literally just like, there's a random Han walking around. We should probably get send the army to kill him. <laughs> we only have an army of four people, now seven. Don't make me. If Pin trains hard and does his best, he'll get stronger in no time. Hmm. Just give us an assignment. We'll show you how well we can work together. So, you want to be tested? Our orders are to ambush Shan Yu's army on the way on their way here. They should be coming through the mountain pass. We'll smash them! I doubt that. You four will be the advance party. Scout out the mountain for my troops. We are your troops. You have three other people besides us. <laughs> That's it? No problem. Right. Right. I'll brief you on the details later. Return when you're ready to depart. Remember, the smallest mission may have the greatest purpose. Stay alert. First mission, get me some- get me a bowl of rice. <laughs> Sir! And we get the encampment area map. All right, since we're still in Valor form and it's running out, let's do the mission as soon as possible. 
Have you decided to see you're up for a mission? Yep. So we have the surprise attack. A strange figure was seen at the checkpoint. Head there quickly and defeat the enemy. Uh, checkpoint, the ambush, a mob is heading for the checkpoint. Stop them while keeping an eye out for strange enemies. Or the search, it seems the enemy has invaded the camp. Defeat every enemy you encounter. We're gonna start with the surprise attack. Defeat all the Heartless and don't let morale run out. All right, let's take up the Nightwalkers. Beautiful. All right, so now we're back to normal. I'm gonna show off what, uh, what fire does now. Fire is very nice for taking out the shadows because when the shadows are underground, they pop up and can sometimes only pop up for a frame or two, but if you are casting fire while they're doing that, it's going to hit them. So that's actually really nice. Uh, Nightwalker, knock it off. We blew up all of the carts in the checkpoint. We hope you don't mind, Sh uh, Shane. You've done a passable job, but stay alert. This is just the beginning. Thanks, Shane. You're great. Oh, I'm sorry. He's got an eighth guy. All's quiet here. You'd better take your mission seriously. If you don't do it quickly, Captain Shane's going to have your hide. That a fact. Anyhow, we got a new ability for leveling up Valor Form to level 2. Auto Valor. Automatically sets the reaction command to Valor in a pinch if Valor Form is usable. So there's a bunch of abilities in the game that are like auto something, for example, auto drive form. So for this, what basically happens is if we've got three drive gauges, which is enough to enter Valor form, we'll get basically a permanent reaction cannon and be like, enter Valor form. And if we just press the triangle button, we can instantly turn into Valor form. It's faster than going to the drive part of the menu and then selecting Valor form. But also, I hate this ability because it overrides normal reaction commands that are actually really useful. And sometimes it, you can end up accidentally going to devour form when you wanted to just do a reaction command so i do not like doing that not to mention the fact that auto valor is barely faster than just you know, entering valor form at the normal time Anyhow, this has been your lesson from Artie. if we jump and then attack it's still not enough great an arrow sticks out of here that's nice hey lane there are explosives inside the tent so be careful if you mess around too much next to the tent kaboom get the picture oh you mean uh like this? Oh, no, I can't. Hey, y'all. On the way to the mountain, you'll come up to a checkpoint. Beyond that is the mountain trail. The whole place is swarming with enemies. For what it's worth, be careful. Dude, weren't you literally just over there, Lane? Chiempo? A whirlwind came and blew me to the top of the turret. That is surprising, considering your size. If it did that to me, imagine what it could do to the others. That leads back to the bamboo grove, all right? I want to explore a checkpoint a little bit outside of a mission, because there's treasure there. Shard. It's but it's barred from the inside. You can't pass it this time. We could we could vault over the wall, no problem. Hi, potion. Hi, I'm potion. That was terrible. Everybody has turned off the video now. Let's head back to Shane and do the next mission. Shanyu is invaded the country. Let's do the ambush. Defeat all of the Heartless and don't let morale run out. See, so yeah, you're kind of seeing how the combo system works with magic and physical attacks in tandem. Like, I cast it at a single thing of fire, and then after that, I was able to finish it off with the uh, ground combo finisher. This is an assault rider! This is a very annoying enemy. These are centaurs that are powerful, have good range, and can stun lock you in place pretty easily. However, if you can get a combo finisher on them, you can stun them in place. So, I'm gonna take out the Nightwalkers first. But it, there's, they have a move you saw briefly where they did like a whirlwind uh, move with their spear. 
If they do that and you're right next to them, you're going to be taking a lot of damage, especially on critical modes. Just watch out. Oh yeah, just like that. Thankfully, we can finish them off. They are some of the most dangerous enemies at the beginning of the game, so you, they might need some practice in order to get rid of, even on normal mode. Hmm, not bad. Now brace yourself for the rest of your assignments. <laughs> Soon I'll make a man out of you. <sighs> Alright. The search, this is the most annoying mission. Defeat all the hidden enemies and don't let more out run out. We're in the camp and there are a bunch of like tiny little shadows scattered all throughout that we have to just track down and kill. This, if you're gonna run out of morale on a mission, it'll probably be this one. The lock-on command can come in handy on this one. His morale just gradually depletes. Come on, where are th Here we are. Good. That'll boost the morale for a little bit. Oh, man. Yeah, Nightwalkers are deceptively powerful, considering they're just like these little bug guys. There we go. We almost ran out of morale there. That is an annoying mission. Yes, that's exactly what I need from you. Now you still have some tasks to do, so stay sharp. We get an AP boost from Shane for completing those missions. You did well. I knew it. Captain. I suppose you've made a little progress. Not a little, a lot! No, you're right, Captain. Please give me one more assignment. This time I'll show you what I'm truly made of. I'll give you one more chance. Why is he being so tough on- I mean, admittedly, Pain is a terrible party member. He's just like, rah, like occasionally swipes enemies with his sword. See me when you're ready to depart. Remember, this may be a test, but it's still an important mission. Be alert. Sir! I love how, like, Shane does not discriminate. He's literally just like, oh yeah, you've got like a duck, a dog, and a cartoony anime boy. You're welcome in the Chinese army. Yeah. <laughs> Your mission is to secure the path over the summit so our company can pass. I've authorized you to let be, be let through the summit. Don't let me down. Okay. So yeah, we don't actually select that mission. Instead, we just walk to it. Oh hey, more enemies. Now we actually get money this time instead of just morale because on the missions where it's like, don't let morale run out, you don't get actual normal enemy drops like money, HP, or drive orbs. Oh hey, we can enter power form again. That'll be nice. Also, destroying the fireworks carts and the other things in the area often drop drive orbs for you. So that's nice. Oh no, not the bird. Hurry to the mountain summit and don't let more hour run out. All right, well, first things first. Valor form, explosion, destroys everybody. Use the reaction command in order to break down these barriers. Also, the reaction command can damage the enemies. Oh, but also the enemies can knock you out of the reaction command. And the pop potion for safety. Lightning shard in that chest. Donald's leveling up even though he's not doing anything. Salt Rider down here, let's take him out sooner rather than later. That's the attack you want to watch out for. You saw how much HP that shredded through. 
kind of saved my butt. Thanks, Donald. I could have popped a potion, but those are valuable. Hey, you ain't half bad. A man among men! Thanks. But the captain... Captain! Oh, he, he found another soldier! Now we've got an army of eight! He sure did great. You bet he did! Hmm, fine. I'll let you join my troops. But I'm still not convinced you have what it takes to be a worthy soldier. Why not? We did all the missions, whereas Yao, Ling, and Sh uh, Chimpo just stood around doing nothing. It's alright, Sora. I'll find a way to show him what I'm made of. Just give me a chance. That's the spirit, Pain. Sir! Pain. Thanks. Yeah, you, you all didn't do anything. We are single-handedly running the Chinese army. And three of us aren't even from the area. <laughs> okay, girl, here's a chance. I just saw this real shady guy, and I know it's Sean Yu. Sean Yu? That's the Han leader. We've got to tell the captain. Right. Wait, 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 wait! Everybody use the headset. Now, why are we here? To make the captain see Mulan's, I mean, Ping's talents, and bring honor to her family. His family. <laughs> so, let's find out where Shan Yu is by ourselves. Then, if we're lucky, we can fry him up good. Though, just tracking the guy down could earn us our stars. Captain Musclehead will have to notice my girl. This is a terrible idea. Okay, let's go. We'll help out. Now we cooking! Shan Yu is in a cave outside the village. It was actually the Great Stone Dragon. And we have the village area now. Noise. We don't know where the enemy is or what traps they've set. Be prepared for anything. I... oh yeah, I barely got any money. Oops. We learned to synthesize new items through free development gained from completing the collection. Handed over all recipes in stock as well. So now, if we go to free development, we have all of these that we can make as well. So, Fire Guy Bangle, Blizzard Guy Armlet, Fundiga Trinket, Midnight Anklet, Garnet Rain, and Mithril Rain. We do not have anywhere close to the materials we need to make those. Oh well. Recipes, we have a new recipe for drive recovery. Can't make that. List of our materials, material log, and our lists. We got free development for doing five different types of synthesis materials. Cool. And that way is the way out. This way is towards the king. Booyah. There's also a save point right here. And that's where we're gonna leave the episode for today. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I'm Colorful Already. Tune in next time. We will probably be able to finish up this world, to be perfectly honest. I think I have a feeling that the worlds will be able to be done in one or two episodes apiece, which will be nice. The, hopefully the Let's Play won't go on for super long, but also hopefully the episodes won't be very much longer than a half hour apiece. Hope to see you next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.